Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Surdy City versus Garrett Armfield. Surdy City is a 10-2, 4-1 in his last five fights. Minus 165 favorite, 28 years old, 5'11", with a 72-inch reach. Fighting uh, Garrett Armfield, who's 10-4, 3-2 in his last five fights. Got submitted by Brady Heistead four months ago. Plus 140 underdog, 28 years old, 5'6", with a 70-inch reach. 5 inch height advantage for a Surdy City with the 2 inch reach as well. The difference in this in this matchup is I do think Armfield has power, but I think that reach is going to be a problem. So I, I kind of think he's going to use the wrestling early and then he can strike with them, make Surdy City work a little bit, get him a little bit tired, um, take some of the steam off of him because he has a very, very good boxing base. But we don't really know about his takedowns. Like, we know he has a decent chin. That picture is fucking wild. Jesus. But, he has a, you know, he has a, a good boxing... Uh, I, I can't think of it. Eight finishes in, in, out of his ten wins. He has uh, four first-round finishes. Lost a really close decision against Ramon Tavares. Uh, was, uh, beat Tavares in the contender series. Very weird stoppage. Very weird stoppage, to be honest. So, yeah. It, it, this one, to me, is the power of Armfield, the pressures of, of Armfield, and the grappling of Armfield. I, I just think he causes a little bit of doubt later in the fight for Surdy City. I think it's it should be a good one. This fight is a tough, whether it's going to go to a decision or not. Armfield hasn't necessarily been a guy. He has three losses by submission, but he doesn't necessarily get finished with the strikes. You look at Surdy City, who has two submissions, six TKOs or KOs. Yeah. Yeah, I like Armfield. I think he gets his grappling involved very early, and it is going to be a very, very fun fight. I like this fight to go... The distance. And as always, subscribe, like, comment, let me know you're picking. Peace.